During peak hours at the Lombard Cafe, Matthew Latanzio is used to the pressure. His wife, Jill, had her share of stress as a nurse at Jefferson until last year. Completely blindsided us. And you know, there's absolutely no way to prepare for it. Jill's co-workers noticed she was making mistakes. We started seeing doctor after doctor. But every test came back negative. Eight months went by before they got the answer. It was Alzheimer's disease. Jill was only 45. Something that I, I, I didn't even know really existed in someone this young. Jill's doctors told her they had never seen it in someone so young, but it does happen. Dr. Rob Danoff, who has not seen or treated Jill, told me it can start with simple forgetfulness to forgetting names of family members and erratic handwriting. And a lot of times we may not think about Alzheimer's at someone the age of 35 or 40 or 45, 50 because it's not that common. What does this mean for us? What does this mean for the girls? Jill's niece got together with the rest of the extended family trying to figure out how to support the couple's six and eight year old. You don't know how fragile your life is at any age and you never think you can get this type of disease at the age of 45. Very difficult uh, to say the least. Uh, it's just it's uh, it's a cruel disease that affects the people around you. It makes everything so difficult. Even the support groups, Matthew is the youngest one there, trying to make sense of a disease he thought only happened much later in life. A fundraiser that Matthew wasn't even aware of at first has brought in almost $70,000 to date, even in the midst of a pandemic. The outpouring of love was undescribable. There's still no cure for Alzheimer's disease and the progression varies from person to person. But even when the memories fade, the smiling family in these photos will still continue the fight. Matt Delusha, NBC 10 News.